guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu and today we're doing all my makeup and beauty. I had so much, I needed two bags. And these are all skin, hair and body care, um, maybe perfume, but I don't have any makeup in here because I'm saving all my makeup that I use in a whole year and doing a video at the end of the year. So make sure you subscribe so you can see that um, because I've never done that before and I'm curious to see how much makeup I actually use in a year. It's a little experiment for myself. Um, so this is everything that I've used. Now some of these things are my husband and my daughter, so we'll just skim over those. Um, but what I do is I collect them all because I take them into Mecca and TerraCycle them. And at Mecca, when you TerraCycle, you get a little packet of seeds to grow as a reward for putting your items in bin. And there's an actual bin that you just take it to. You don't even have to ask stuff. You can just put it in, take your seeds and go. So it's pretty, pretty easy now. So let's start with the little bag. Um, actually we have two body lotions from Soap and Glory. And I don't use these. These are my husband. Um, I get a lot of these at work. I work at Mecca and I get a lot of free stuff. So some things I buy, some things I don't. Um, it's a bit of a mixture because I do buy, still buy stuff, um, but I also do get free stuff. But this was free. Um, so this is the the daily smooth lux luxury luxurious body lotion, and then the drop in the lotion, which is more coconutty. I don't know. I didn't really use them, but my husband liked it. Um, I bought this. This is the Summer Friday Super Aminio Gel Cleanser. I quite liked it, but it's not my favorite purely because I wear makeup. I like something just not like intense with dry, like drying out my skin, but just something that can really move the makeup around. I just didn't feel like this did it enough. But when I didn't have, I, I, I do oil cleanse but I still need something to get everything off. Like sometimes the oil doesn't fully drop off. So I need something just a little bit more intense. When I wasn't wearing makeup, this was beautiful. So if you wear a little bit of makeup, I think that would still be a beautiful cleanser because it's, it's not, it's good for, it says purify, but in my opinion, it's more for dry skin. It has a splash of mineral rich seawater, 11 amino acids. Um, and it is pH balancing. So it's nice and gentle on the skin. Um, I finished this Olay Pro X Youth Active Rejuvenating Clear Lotion. This is like an essence. This took me about a year to finish and I use it pretty much every day. This is 150 mils. I loved this. If you want a drugstore option for an essence, es essence lotion, same thing. Um, after cleansing, put an essence or a lotion on. It softens the skin to help serums penetrate deeper. So I highly recommend using this as an added step if you're willing to. Uh, this was really nice. Olay, Priceline, Chemist Warehouse. Check it out. Um, this was for my daughter's hair from Curl Essence. I really like this brand. This is from Beauty Bay. This is why I want to buy from Beauty Bay is because they have amazing coily hair appropriate products. Um, this is a hair oil, really good for her hair. Um, I finished a do it, do it or do it? You tell me, is this do it or do it? Um, foot and heel balm plus, it, it's really good. It's the only one that actually works and it's cause it's got urea, urea of 25%, AHAs and vitamin E. Um, and urea pen can penetrate through like thick dead skin as far as I know. I don't know full details, but this is really good. Um, I have another one that I'm currently using because your girl gets, gets dry heels. And then I got this in my Aussie Biz Cheek subscription box, which is a female on like business owner subscription box where you get like cute little products, but then you also get a business related book business related products. Um, but they sometimes, they always put in like a fun non-business related product that's Australian. And this is Bear Bay Cherry Blossom Himalayan, Pink Himalayan Salt Scrub. I didn't use it as a salt scrub, but because it had, I read the ingredients, Himalayan salt, Epsom salt, olive oil, grapeseed oil, macadamia oil, cherry kernel oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, and fragrance. It was all very natural. I actually use it as a bath soak. 
Um, so it soaked with the Epsom salts, but then it also hydrated my skin with the oils. So I didn't use it as a scrub and I really actually really enjoyed it as a bath soak. There's all their socials if you're interested. And this was cherry blossom scented. Very nice, I quite liked it. Um, then my two uh, shampoo and conditioner, I'm gonna repurchase this. This is the only shampoo and conditioner that has um, soothed my dry scalp. And when I say soothe, it, it, uh, it removed the dead skin and it actually kept my scalp from getting too dry so it, like it properly soothed my scalp because that's my issue it's just so dry it's almost like I have psoriasis it's like nothing will help its dryness like nothing but this was actually very good so I'm using something else so my dandruff has come back full force uh, but I'm going to repurchase this when I finish what I'm currently using Sasha One is the brand it's a hard one to spell if I say it, you wouldn't know how it's spelled. Scalp conditioner. It's only small, but it was very good. Very good. And the conditioner was very nice on my hair. Um, I have another hair care, Way Leaving Conditioner. This was the collab with Byredo in the Mojave Ghost scent. I got this from Cult Beauty, because you can't buy it at Sephora. You can buy the regular one at Sephora but Colt Beauty has the one with Byredo and it is <sighs> so good because I love Mojave Ghost from Byredo. I like, I want to buy it. It's a really nice, soft, gentle scent for like every day. And when I tell you I want five of these, this is one of the best products I've ever put in my hair, like ever. It is so conditioning. My hair is so incredibly soft every time I use this. So I'm definitely gonna repurchase, whether I get it from Sephora or Cult Beauty. If I get it from Cult Beauty, they have the jumbo size ones too. I was considering buying that because I just love this so much. I know I'll use it. Like this is not enough for me. And then the Necessaire body wash. I, I don't use body washes, I use soap. Um, so I use this as a bubble bath in my bath and it was eucalyptus scented. I bought this um, just before they came to Mecca. I didn't know. So I bought this full price overseas because I really wanted to try this brand. Um, what they do is they do, you can pick a fragrance. I pick eucalyptus or other fragrances, or you could do fragrance free. All their products come in. So this one body wash, wash comes in like three options, like eucalyptus, another scent, I can't remember, or fragrance free. And that's with all their products. I love that, that if you want fragrance, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Love it. So um, this was a really nice body wash. Very nice for a bath soak. Um, Briogeo deep conditioning mask. It's all right. I, I liked it the first time I ever used it, but now I'm like, yeah, it's okay. Like it's good. I think because I keep getting samples of it. Oh, this was just for my son. Body lotion for a baby, baby lotion um, with goat milk, zinc, lavender, and chamomile. I think it was a, like in a gift pack when I, when Muna was born that I got. Verso hand serum with retinol eight. Verso is a skincare brand, um, and basically all their products have retinol in it but it's at a rate that is suitable for sensitive skin. So they're a very special special brand. Anyway, this is a hand serum I got from work um, and then you put hand cream over the top. But obviously if it's got retinol eight, yeah, I always put sunscreen on my hands anyway because where do we age ladies and gentlemen? Face, neck, hands. Never forget your hands. Uh, Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Full Strength Exfoliating Mask, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. First time I ever used this, my face burnt, went fully red, and I was like, whoa, but it was like strong, not as in like a, not in a like allergy reaction, it was like, this is strong chemical peel reaction. And then the more times I used it, like the last few times I used it, I didn't even get red skin. Uh, because my skin adjusted to it. It's very effective. And Juice Beauty is one of the only organic skincare brands, organic at Mecca, if not the only. Um, recyclable tube and cap made from a new renewable sugar cane. There you go. I highly recommend, this is a small size, but they do sell the full size at Mecca, I do believe. 
I got some bubble baths that I got from Priceline for Ivy. I think there's another one in there. It was a bit, bit average. Uh, Garnier Fructus Nourishing Banana Hair Food. I use this for Ivy um, as a conditioner for her hair because it's really nice and intense. And Bare Minerals Poreless Exfoliating Essence. This is a small size. It was okay. I used it because I had it. Um, so it's with prebiotics and super fruits. So it's supposed to gently exfoliate and also hydrate. So yeah, it was okay, but this was better. The Olay was better. Some toothpaste. Oh, so this is not, I didn't do this in as a makeup that I used, finished, because it expired, the RMS Beauty Lipstick in Rapture. So I scooped it out and then I'm going to TerraCycle it. Oh, this body cream's from Sunday Rain. I got at Beauty Bay. Body butter in mango and coconut. Oh, I really liked this. Oh, mango coconut, lovely, lovely combo. It was really nice, I quite liked it. Um, Argan Oil from Morocco, Hask, Hask is the brand, Hask or Hask, Hask Clean Beauty, Repairing Deep Conditioner. I got, um, when you spend a certain amount on a hair, a hair box from Priceline, and it came with lots of hair masks, and I haven't, I keep forgetting to use them, so I have some others. There's another bubble bath. By Terry Hand Cream. Oh my God, this is so good. It's rose scented, but to me it smells like candy. Oh, it smells like a rose scented candy. It's very nice. It's a really good hand cream too. If you want to splash out and get a bougie hand cream, I highly recommend this. It's very nice. Um, I finished another of the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. I really like this. Doesn't work for everyone, but I really like it. Another hair, Curlescence Moisturizing Curling Jelly for my daughter. I want to repurchase this, it's so good. Uh, that's just hand wash. Oh, from the bathroom. Oh, this I recommend, Ren Skincare, the Atlantic Kelp and Microalgae Anti-Fatigue anti Bath Oil. Oh, so this has got magnesium in it. And so I try to really make this last as a bath oil after work. And when I was, pre I probably shouldn't have done it, but when I was pregnant to really soothe my achy pelvis. It smells like eucalyptus. It was so good. We sold, used to sell this in my store and I bought it from work, but then we took this range away. I'm guessing it didn't sell very well, but if you are someone that is physical in your job or on your feet all day and you have a bath, I highly recommend this. I would repurchase this. It was really good really good ah right now this is not in my makeup that I finished because um, this is the elf camo powder foundation my son threw it and broke it but I didn't want it anyway so he ended up breaking the correct thing so now it's empty because it all cracked and burst so I'm gonna TerraCycle that it's a bit sad because I never used it but I also didn't like it so Oh, there's more product. Oh, I thought I finished it, but I can see. Oh no, it is finished. There's like the tiniest bit. You know what? I think I've got one more use out of that. Now that it was lying that way, I think I've got another use out of that. This is for my daughter. This was a living proof, living proof, living proof. <laughs> curl elongator for curl coils. Um, it was okay for the price and the size I would not buy it again 100 mils and it was still expensive um, it was alright I prefer a hydrating jelly for my daughter's hair I think that works better for her hair type I'm currently using the Bumble and Bumble the dehumidifying hair gel oh her hair loves it her hair enjoys a water based gel so something like a cream is not as good. So I will get that one use out of it and then TerraCycle it. Um, vitamin C facial wash from Soap and Glory my husband used. That was just a freebie from work and he liked it. I, so I bought him the full size. Ends up being really affordable for me when I get my discount. I finished the mini of the Mecca Cosmetica to save face. I really like that. Um, would repurchase, but I don't need to because I have a million sunscreens. Um, that, oh yeah, I did finish that. 
a lot of my daughter's hair care. Worlds of Curls. I bought this at an African shop. This is a edge, edge gel. It wasn't very good though. Well, not for my daughter's hair type. Um, Kate Somerville Delicate Delicate Recovery Cream are amazing if you have really dry skin or if you have uh, skin that is compromised easily. This is a beautiful skincare range. I am still using the serum. I finished the cleanser a while ago because I finished cleansers quickly. Still using the serum and it's one of my favorite serums I've ever used. It is so good. So this is uh, formulated for stressed skin, but I don't have stressed skin, but I love it because it's very calming and hydrating. So if that's what you need, I highly recommend this range. The Delicate, Deli, like delicate, Delicate. And it was a nice, thick, dry skin friendly moisturizer. Um, I got this retinol from work, but there was, I went to use it and it was empty because the tops are so heavy. It feels like there's product in there, but there wasn't. So I'm returning it back to TerraCycle, but I did not get anything out of it. That's happened to me before with the B Hydra, the blue one. I went to pump it, I got one pump one pump, so not even for a full face. And then it was empty. <laughs> Cause you don't know when they're empty until they're empty. Uh, just a hotel body lotion. And then I just got my hands dirty with this ultraviolet. Um, this is the lean screen, the mineral mattify. I really liked it, but they need to change the packaging cause it's a thick formula cause it's mineral, which is understandable and um, it wouldn't pump out because it was too thick so it was getting stuck here and then you have to keep pumping till you all the air came out and then it would come out but then when you finished through through the rest of the day the air would go back in and then it was the whole process again so I really liked the product but I hated the packaging I think they need this to be either change the formula to make it a little bit more not runny but not as thick or change the packaging, one or the other. It's probably cheaper to change the packaging. Um, I finished a, a La Mer Moisturizing Cool Gel Cream. And that was not full when I got it, but it was still very nice. This was for Vinny, the Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel. I give him all these little random cleansing gels. Another bubble bath, I've got three bubble baths. Um, Mario Badescu Oil Free Moisturizer for Vinny. I didn't touch it, it's not for me. Uh, go to very useful face cream. Um, I thought it was okay. This is this cream my mum loves. But for me, there was only, I think like maybe a third in here, so it wasn't full. But I wanted to try it so I could get an opinion on it. It's good for me at work to try different things so I know the texture, how I feel about it. Um, it was not bad. But it's certainly not my favorite. So every time I get these, I get them a lot because we, people love go to at Mecca. So we go through testers quite frequently. So we get these a lot at work. Um, and I've always got some kind of go-to product. So I'm gonna, I give those to my mum from now on. And then the Nude Sticks um, Gentle Hydra Gel Face Cleanser was the worst cleanser I've ever used in my life. It was like just, putting water on your face as it was in like a gel right and then you put it on your face and it just slipped off and like you know how some gels you can still move around your face no it would just it felt like I was just putting water on my face like it what didn't clean my face because it just went into nothing it was really weird I feel like this is something you need to put on dry skin because in the shower it was useless um, I've got two fragrances, which I will not put in TerraCycle, but this is to show you. You cannot TerraCycle aerosols, fragrances, or nail polishes. So I've got this here to show you guys, but I will, do I just throw it in the bin? Like, I don't even know how to get rid of this. I'll have to look it up. Um, Ellis Brooklyn B, not my favorite. I just finished it just to, I think I even mixed this because I, at first I liked it, but then I just found it a little bit too much. Too, like I love the smell of honey, but to me it was, it's got more like woody notes, but not in my kind of 
taste. And then the other one was replica uh, springtime in a park. I loved this. This is a beautiful uh, citrusy light floral fragrance. I really recommend it. It's quite beautiful. And just a couple more things. Um, rose body soap. I put it in the bath. Look how tiny it is. Like, what's the point, right? And then the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Clear Face Sunscreen SPF 30. This was for breakout prone skin, water light texture oil free. I didn't love it. Um, I ended up using it on my body just to use it. It's not that it was bad. I'm just a bit picky with sunscreen and a little bit snobby with sunscreen. And this just wasn't my favorite. Um, it stung my eyes and I'm very sensitive with sunscreen around my eyes. So I, yes, my little daughter's here, just working from her nap and eating a snack. So I've just mainly used this on my body once I realized I didn't like it on my face. And then lastly, we have the LMS Peptide for Overnight Radiance Peel. It's a lactic acid peel. And I loved it this so I washed my face and then I put it on after the shower went to bed and I would wake up radiant soft baby skin face um, I use this about once a week and it lasted me a decent amount of time because you didn't need a lot of it and I highly recommend if you're looking for a nice lactic acid peel that's not um, intense so the juice beauty one is very intense 10 minute peel this was a nice gentle overnight um, option that I really really like you just got to make sure you wash it off in the morning mm. Mm. thanks Ivy I've got a yummy gummy right that is all my empties thank you so much for watching um, I go through empties a lot between the family so um, I'm glad to be able to get this out of the house and start again thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video bye